Hi guys, Leanne from the Buzz Music School here. Today I'm going to show you how to tune a guitar. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's an acoustic guitar, electric guitar, or even a bass for the first four strings, the same kind of ideas will uh, apply. So the only thing you'll really need is a digital tuner, which I've got uh, clipped to my headstock here. Um, some guitars actually have a tuner built in and you can get tuner pedals as well, which is really cool. Um, but this is the one that's just floating around in my case, so it's the one we're using today. So you're gonna make sure it's on and that it's got batteries in it. It's always a good, a good thing to start. Um, the strings that you're going to tune your guitar to, if it's standard tuning, there are different ways of tuning a guitar, but this is standard. Um, the notes are E, A, D, G, B, E. So they're the notes that you're going to get the strings to sound. Um, let's start with our bass string, uh, which is the E. So if you just give it a, a, a pluck and just let the note ring out, the tune is actually going to tell you what note it hears. Okay, so I've brought this in a bit closer so you can actually see what is happening with the tuner. So it's actually picking up the reverberations of my voice right now, which is pretty cool. Um, so when I play my bass E string, which is this one here, it's actually picking up that, yep, it's closest to the E note. It's actually a little bit sharp, which means that the sound is a bit too high. Uh, that's pretty close. So you'll notice that if I turn the tuning peg one way, the sound will get lower. And if I turn it the other way, the sound gets higher. So when it's showing those yellow bits past halfway, that's saying that it's, it's closest to E, but it's actually too high. So I need to change the direction in which I'm turning my tuning peg. So now it's saying, oh, you've gone too fast. This is a bit low. So I'm going to tighten the string again until I get it just in that sweet spot. Just right there. See how I've got the right letter? And then when we play it, the middle bit lights up. So it's not too flat. It's not too sharp. It's the Goldilocks zone. It's just right. Okay, our next string is the A. Oh, that one's pretty spot on. Great. Okay, so our next string is D. Oh, so see that one's a bit flat. So we need to tighten the string. And you can go slowly, take your time. Almost there, it's a tiny bit further. Great, that's spot on. Our next string, which is down on the bottom bit of the headstock, so you can actually follow the strings along till it gets to the, the tuner if you are brand new to tuning. They'll always be the same. So this will always go to this tuning peg, that one, this one. Um, so next we've got our G note. So give it a, a play. Oh, so it looks like it's a bit flat. So we need to actually tighten the string. And you can hear if the string is getting higher or lower in sound. So great. We've got a G note showing there. And the blue middle line is shining nice and bright so it's perfect okay now we've got our B string next oh so that's really sharp see how all the yellow is showing so we need to loosen the tension on the string just slowly bit by bit a bit too far there we go it's pretty spot on and next we've got our E string again, which is a bit too high. So we need to loosen the tension on the string until that's just right. Beautiful. So that is how you tune an acoustic guitar and an electric guitar as well. And if you were tuning a bass and you want to use this video, you can just do the first four strings, the E, A, D, G. Um, thank you for watching today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you get stuck on anything, uh, feel free to let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.